Hey everybody, Coach Jason here. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great season so far. I hope you're enjoying a great weekend as well. Today we're going to talk about some workouts that will help you achieve your best 5K or 5,000 meters, whether it's across country, or on the track, or on the roads. It doesn't matter. Okay. So obviously it will vary a little bit in terms of how to do the workout itself, meaning if you're going to run it on cross country and you're going to be running it on a rolling path, a rolling course, then if you can develop a pattern of consistency to do the workouts on something that will simulate the cross country course, that's a good idea. And obviously you make adjustments for paces and so on and so forth. Roads, you can run that stuff on the cross country course and you can run the stuff on the track. Okay, But if the goal is to run specific times, then here are some workouts to help you get there. So number one, this is a 1K rep progression, if you can see here. The whole the workout itself is five times a K, five times a thousand. And you'll see the CRP is current race pace, GRP is goal race pace, and you'll see there's a two-minute recovery. Okay? Two-minute recovery at the end, on the bottom at, at the end of each rep. So it's kind of taken away by the ticker right now. Let me remove the ticker for a second. All reps have a two-minute recovery. Can you see that in the bottom right? Okay, so keep that in mind. Now. How does this work? Well, you set this at about two to three weeks apart from each other. So you don't necessarily have to sandwich this all into a season. But if you want to do this, you know, cross country is a good season to do it. And you can start before cross, or you can do it during the whole indoor season as well. If you're planning on running a 5K at states or nationals or whatever it might be. And this is for college and high school. So, but the first time you do it, you do four times a rep at your current goal, at your current race pace. Okay. And then you do the back end, the fifth rep at your goal race pace. So let's just say you're running 1550 and you want to get down to 1530. Well, you're looking to run this in 309, 310 for the four reps in the beginning. And then you want to get down about 305, 306 for the end. Okay. And we're doing it on the back end because that's where you want to, that's where generally paces start to slow down. That's where we want you to be the strongest. And I want you to know what it feels like to run your goal race pace at the end of a 5K, more important than the beginning of a 5K for this particular sequence. So the second time you do it, let's just say it's two or three weeks apart from each other. Second time you do it, you do the first three reps at, co at your current race pace, then the back two reps at goal race pace. So now we're adding a rep on the back end. Third time you do it, two reps at current race pace, then the last three reps at goal race pace. You see you're adding a rep at goal race pace each time you do this workout. So it's a progression in this particular sequence. The fourth time you do it, you do your first rep at current race pace, and then you try to do your last four reps at goal race pace. The reason why you're doing this in, in this manner is to give your athletes or yourself a time to adapt to the addition of volume at goal race pace. So, and that requires, that's periodization. You need, you need time to adapt to certain things. And again, I've said this a lot of times, okay? You can either increase volume or increase speed or cut recovery. There's a lot of different ways you can show progress. So this is here, you're increasing speed on the back end of the workout, okay, but maintaining the volume. So, and you can see the fifth time, if you can do five times a K at your goal race pace, which in this case is 305 to 306 with the same two-minute recovery, then you're going to be pretty ready to run your 5K. And if you can add a six rep when you get to that point, that's probably for the older, more experienced athletes, even better. So, but the, the goal of this workout, again, is to add another rep on the back end of the workout each time you do it at your goal race pace, replacing it or replacing the current race pace with the goal race pace. So this is the first of the workouts here, and this is a good one. Now, make sure, by the way, that you subscribe to this channel because we're going to talk about this more. Okay, and if you need help, you, need, you know, you need, to, you need to figure out what, how to build this into your training and so on and so forth. You want help building a training plan for yourself or your athletes? Reach out to me, blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com. I'm happy to help out in that regard too. So you know exactly how to fit in this training and when to fit it in and why to fit it in and what to build around it. That's also an important part of the component as well. So it's something, especially coaches, especially coaches, doing what other coaches do and expecting the same result doesn't always work, hardly ever does. So how do you build this stuff around what you're already doing is the key. And it doesn't really matter if you're running a 20-minute 5K or a 15-minute 5K, 19, 14, 22, 30, whatever it is. You can make this work for your athletes or for yourself. So let's get back to the slide, the second slide. Here's a couple more workouts. Okay. This is two sets of a broken, uh, was it a broken mile and a half. So it's 2,400 meters. 
The whole volume of this workout is 4,800 meters or three miles, okay? So you're doing a 1,200 meter rep at 5K pace, at goal 5K pace, okay? With a two minute recovery. And then you do an 800 meter rep at 3K pace and you take a one minute recovery after that. And then you do your 400 meter rep at your goal 1,500 or mile pace. Then you take a six minute recovery after that. And then you try to repeat that same sequence again. So now you're getting some volume at 5K pace, 3K pace, and, and mile pace, or 1,500 meter pace, which is one reason we're not going over volume or over distance. So this is a good um, mid-season workout to do. It doesn't take the whole entire season to work through like the other 5K sequence does. This is a good mid-season workout to do when you're touching base with all the different paces and you want, you know, you want to know what it feels like to either accelerate in the, in the beginning of a race or in the middle of a race or in the back end of a race. This gives you a, uh, a, t a chance to touch all those paces. And again, having a multi-pace training system, multi-pace training variety in your, in, your, in your routine is a good thing. This will help you accelerate okay, in a lot of different ways. And if you can accelerate from 5K pace down to mile pace in a race, that's a heck of a progression. So that's the work. That's the second workout. Two sets of 1,200, 800, 400. Then we got about, this is a workout, a progression workout too. You want to know what it feels like to run a longer rep at 5K pace, right? So you're doing this 2K rep at your goal 5K pace. And then take about an eight-minute recovery. And then you try to back it up with six to eight times a 400 with a 90-second recovery at 3K pace. So you're accelerating a little bit with some shorter reps, but you need to have that longer rep as well. Let's just say this is about two, two and a half to, three, to about three weeks out from your race, your goal race. So, um, and again... If your goal is five minute pace or 1530 for the 5k, let's just give you an example. You need to know what it feels like to go through 2k at that pace. Okay. And then again, if you can come back the following week, let's just, or let's just say 11, 10 or 11 days out and you can do a 3k at your goal 5k pace. That's another uh, progression point as well. So, and again, you have to factor in uh, whether you're at sea level or altitude, obviously. I would not exceed 2k at a high altitude. I would exceed a three, I, I would go 3k at sea level. So I want to point that out. So just because teams at altitude can do certain things doesn't mean we can do the same thing in certain things. So you, that needs to be said. So if you can get to the point where you're doing your 3K and you need to know what it feels like to run a 3K, your goal 5K pace, whether it's 20-minute pace or 18-minute pace or 16-minute pace or 14-minute pace, you need to know what it feels like and still continue to go. So after the 3K, your goal 5K pace, you take that same 8-minute eight eight minute recovery. My apologies is different. I'm putting that in. Okay, you do your 3K, you take an eight-minute recovery just like the 2K. Then you do two times a 600 with a two-minute recovery at 3K pace. Okay, so some shorter reps, but at the level down below, 3K pace, and two times a 300-meter with a one-minute recovery at 1,500-meter pace. So we're mile pace. So again, you do 3K, you add it up, that's 4,200 meters. Add the back end here, it's 4,800 meters. So at about 3K, about th uh, three miles worth of volume. So, and at the 2K here, you're at you're just about three miles or a little bit under, a little bit over. So, but again, you're also a little further out from your goal race than you are the 3K rep. So those are the, the workouts I wanted to get to you today. Let me know if you, if you heard of these, okay? And if you subscribe to the channel, by the way, I thank you so much for it. Like I said, Black Belt Running Coach is my email address. You have direct access to me if you have any questions about any of my videos. Hit the notification button too if you do that. And that way, if, if I go live to talk about stuff or put out another video, you'll be, always be at the front of the line when this stuff comes in. You'll always know exactly when I go live. Okay. The reason why I go live too is because I want you to have access to me so that if you do have questions about any of the videos, you can ask me on live time and I can answer them. And if I do and it spurs another question, great. We can have a dialogue and it gives me a chance to get to know you as an athlete or as a coach. So I can be even more helpful. So. That's one reason I want to do that, so we can have a dialogue back and forth. So, and again, if you find yourself enjoying this content, hit the thumbs up too. I always greatly appreciate it. It's always helpful to the channel. But those are the workouts I want to get you. And these workouts, if you combine them, you incorporate them into your training, they can help you run a huge, or your athletes run a big 5K PR. So I hope you, find this, I hope you found it helpful. Have a great week, great rest of your season. I'll talk to you next time.